So if you take anything from this video, always remember that your negative emotional charge is packed with power. It is packed with data. Every time you attract a toxic guy, a guy ghosts you, or something doesn't go your way, your current circumstances are trying to hook you. What you have to realize, you guys, is this is an energetic history of what you have entertained the most in the past. It's created a mold for your reality. I have been dusting off the remnants of my choices for the past five years. I spent my entire 20s and 30s choosing toxic men because I was toxic and I was wounded and I hadn't done any healing. However, in these moments, it is imperative that you stay focused on your vision. You stay focused on the faith of what you want because you are always choosing based on the narrative that you are telling yourself about every situation. If this always happens to you, you're right. If all men do this, you're right. And you will continue attracting based on that narrative. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, I'm Angela Jean. I provide step-by-step -step methods on how to sculpt your mind to shape your reality so that you can consistently choose the reality that you want. So when circumstances try to pull you off course, my methods will plug you back in to your desired reality. I created this method because when you tell the story of who you want to be, you're consciously choosing the reality you desire. And the choice is constant. Your internal story creates your external reality. So in this video, I'm going to show you the exact method to use your negativity as a slingshot towards what you want. All you need to know. How to know if you're consciously choosing or being led by your subconscious programming is this. Consciousness creates and deletes because it's an active choice. Are you hearing me? Consciousness creates and deletes because it's an active choice. Subconscious repeats because it's a program. It's like the cache of your mind. So if this always happens to you or you knew that would happen, you're being led by your subconscious instead of leading by your conscious mind. Let me elaborate on the cache analogy because that's essentially the mold that is creating your reality. So even though you think you may be consciously choosing, there's still a mold of what you've entertained the most in the past, just like the cache of your computer holds on to old information, making revisiting old programs easier. Your subconscious mind holds on to old narratives and experiences that shape your reality. They keep you stuck in familiar patterns even if they no longer serve you. The method I created is called the script. This is to be used in the moment that you experience something you don't want. Someone ghosted, something didn't go your way. In that moment, you need to take that negativity because it creates such an emotional charge that it is fueled with data. And that's when you begin the scripting. Pull out your phone, write in your phone, brain dump in your phone exactly what you're feeling with detail because we all know that these negative stories, these narratives, we can write freaking novels. You can't hold on to it because that's when you store it in the cache and that's when you continue holding on to the mold that's going to continue attracting that same character into that mold. Why? Because he fits. Don't you get it? He fits into the mold of the story that you're telling. So what you want to do, and I'm gonna give you an example of something I did with a friend. Let me just read this to you. We, I'm just gonna give you the first sentence, but then I'll put a link in the uh, description box below of the entire, <laughs> the entire little letter. But this is just the first sentence because it's very important that you only change and add words. You don't change the whole narrative. You wanna keep essentially the code the same, okay? Because we're feeding the program of our mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna read you guys the first sentence. Now that I see you clearly, I'm thankful that you removed yourself from my life. The last thing I need is another deceptive, secretive man in my life. There's more, let's just stay there. Okay, so that's your stored program. And I'm sure that's a story that you have felt and told many times, okay? So that's stored in the cache. This is how you flip the script. You write the exact words, but watch what I do here. Now that I see you clearly, I'm thankful that you removed yourself from my life, comma, allowing us time to build our love story on a solid foundation. Thank you for not being a deceptive, secretive man. You see how I used all the same context, but I changed it, I pivoted it, I pivoted it, is that a word? <laughs> I pivoted it into a possibility. When we are so charged, use it but do not use it without pivoting it into a possibility. And then what I want you guys to do is read the negative one and feel how you tighten. 
and then read the positive one and feel how you release and you open. That is what you have to start paying attention to, you guys. If you're closing and tightening, you are not consciously choosing. What I want you guys to start understanding is that with conscious creation, all possibilities exist until you say it doesn't. And what makes you say it doesn't is fear and doubt. The negative narrative that we read has decided that this is what it is. It collapses all possibilities in time and space and holds your mold in place. So every time your reality hits you with an old mold of your past choices, you have to be consciously choosing the reality you want. All of my methods create mental cues. They're creating a constant mental map of what you want to flush out the cachet of what you don't. So if one resonates with you, keep coming back. Just rinse and repeat the same one. These methods don't create. They simply keep you in alignment with the I am consciousness within you. So if you take anything from this video, always remember that your negative emotional charge is packed with power. It is packed with data. Use it to get crystal freaking clear on what you don't want to give you clarity on what you do. All right, script it pivot it and move in the direction of the life that you want. All right, guys, hopefully that was helpful. If you need me to flip your script for free, go ahead and send it to my email below. Otherwise, feel free to join the Soul Sync Sanctuary where we sculpt your mind to shape your reality. All that information is in the description box below. See you later.